Hi guys, so I decided to actually give most of my equipment a good clean and one of the things that I had to clean was this was my girth but the sheepskin that was attached to it you probably might be able to see this but you can see it has velcro and the velcro is there for like a reason so without the velcro this is actually will scratch the horse's belly I mean it's like a seven kick pad it's got the connection for the girths um, or the martingale and um, you know anything else any like side reins door reins that kind of stuff but the whole point of this girth was because for a blaze like a saddle really irritates her for some I think from when she was young she had a ill-fitted saddle so I mean I was 15 when I got her and saddle fitters in South Africa are pretty much like some of them are just purely salesmen that have never been trained with saddle or with fitting a ho um, horse before others actually the good ones went overseas to train with professional saddle fitters and companies like Air Plus all of our Air Plus saddle fitters are properly trained. All the other stores have sent some of their saddle fitters to get training, but not enough training, and they're primarily salesperson. So you always have to be very careful when you're buying a saddle because it has to be very, it has to be properly fitted. So that is the one thing that I'm always really, really cautious about is saddle fitters and dentists. She's never really liked the saddle, and one of the things that I tried to sort of lessen whenever like, I pull the girth up, she absolutely hates it and she tries to attack anyone. And it has gotten better, but the only reason it's gotten better is because I've introduced a sheepskin girth. And what the sheepskin does is it just gives her that extra bit of comfort and the girth part doesn't feel like it's pinching against her belly and like, you know, pinching at the skin. That's the one drawback with sheepskin as it does rub and some of the fur will come off, but it's not as bad as using with a girth with stitching and a really sensitive mare because a bless is exceptionally sensitive that even the smallest little detail to the equipment, she will feel it. Which makes my job a hell of a lot difficult to try to calm her down when she's constantly getting pinched under the belly. If I didn't want the sheepskin, that's the only con to the skirt because it has to have the sheepskin on. The skirt is not exactly good leather. I'm not entirely sure what kind of leather it is but as you can see it it was like a brown chestnutty leather and the rest of it is black so it's obviously been like dyed after the fact but the one you know con about having a sheepskin girth is you always have to clean it. I was looking at a couple of articles none of them really seemed to help me I kind of decided to do it a little bit differently, try experiment. So I literally took a stiff brush and I brushed away at the at the residue to see what would happen. And it kind of clumps of the sheepskin has come off, so that is one of the you know drawbacks to my method. But if you don't do that and if you take like a fine tooth comb and you like brush at it, it's probably gonna take you about like three hours to do that. And then you know you won't see much progress so if it's very dry and clumpy and you know matted fur then best to take a stuff brush and just like brush out the sweat and the fur I got most of the fur out it probably will have to take about two or three times to get rid of all the fur that's been clumped into the the sheepskin but I think you know it done a pretty good job and I'm not sure this is in another in any other country but in South Africa we have sunlight and uh, Sunlight brand has soap bars that you can use for like washing, like hand washing clothes. I find it a little bit better than the powder because the powder, even though the powder is more potent, it's not long, it doesn't last that long. Like you're gonna, you're gonna go through it quite a bit. So the soap lasts a while and it's six rand, not expensive at all. So yeah, like once you have brushed away all the fur, or as much of it as you can from all the sheepskin and made it all like not clumpy and matted and try got all the dust and the sweat out. The next thing you do is in lukewarm water you leave it to soak, then you apply the soap and you brush with a stiff brush as well and then you wash it out again because obviously the water is going to be very ugh and disgusting so then you wash it with clean water again, leave it in for soaking for like 10 minutes then you can wring it out dry and put it out to dry. So that's 
my method to my madness of cleaning my sheepskin girth strap. So yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed this how to clean your sheepskin girth. Yeah, I don't know what else to call it. It's kind of just she girth sheepskin. But hopefully that has uh, helped you. And yeah, stay tuned for more videos. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. Your support means a lot.